welcome back to the Iron Man Progress video series. We are here after a long session away. Um, it may not seem that long because I think the uploads were staggered enough that it's only just like a week or so. But uh, if you look at the stats on the screen, I'll do a comparison again. Definitely did a ton of Temporos and Guardians of the Rift. Did a lot of tree runs, got my farming up. Uh, and I honestly, I think those might be like the only things that I did on this on this uh, time away. I was uh, I was off around for, for the holidays and uh, I got caught in a lot of plane cancellations and delays and all of that kind of stuff and did a lot of traveling. So I had a lot of opportunities to do Temporos and Guardians of the Rift. And so I saved up all the rewards like I said I would. Um, and so we can check this reward pool and we have 288 rewards to search. That is a lot. This should help us get a ton of supplies for cooking and construction, some crafting. It should get some good alkables to get some money. So we'll start here. We'll uh, search these rewards and then we will go to Guardians of the Rift and check those out as well. So without further ado, I will cut back in when anything exciting happens. But here or I'm going to put my pet away first in case I get the pet. But uh, we will check these 288 rewards at the Temporas minigame. Oh, okay. There was nothing for a very long time and then two things back to back. All right, we got the tackle box and the big harpoon fish. Uh, we went. We had 288 to start and we got those at like almost 240 rewards through. So, wow, that happened very quickly. Uh, I don't know what these things do. I guess I will just wait until we are almost done, uh, and then I will come back and uh, review the rewards. Oh, <laughs> oh my God! There it is on ten nine eight. So like two hundred and eighty searches or something. This guy's saying congrats. I'll say thank you. I, you know what? I had a feeling this would happen. There it is, Tiny Tempor. So now my two favorite like games to do, Guardians of the Rift and Temporas, I have the pets for them. This is absolutely crazy. I got that literally with like eight poles left to go. That is wild. Let's talk to him, see what he's at. Temp Tiny Tempor is such a cool pet. This is so dope. Um, wow. Okay. I'm going to take a beat and then we'll go over everything that we got here. Okay. The tackle box, I guess, can just store like fishing supplies. And I guess it's just like a bank saver or something like you can store like everything you could possibly need to fish in there, but you can't use the stuff while it's stored in there. So I, I don't really understand what the point of the tackle box is. And the big harpoon fish, I guess, is just like a collectible. Uh, it's just a large harpoon fish you could trade in for soaked pages, or you can mount it. Uh, I guess I'll just hold on to that. I don't really know what to do. The pet, so cool. Um, continuing the uh, trend of content creators, if I can even be called that, uh, getting spooned pets. But that is awesome. We got oak planks, some seaweed, soaked pages, lots of raw tuna, tons of salmon. So... A lot of cooking supplies that can be used to get me up to the 70 cooking that I need for Recipe for Disaster. Uh, we can open some of these caskets right now. I'm sure it's just going to be, you know, like alkables and stuff, but we'll go through that in a sec. I'm going to dump all this other stuff into the into the bank. All right, so we're going to open these caskets now. Okay, clue, clue scroll. You know, what? I may stop right here and go do this. So I can get as many clue scrolls from this as possible. And then I'll open them all at the end. So that would be a cool thing to do. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to do that. All right, there is one easy, easy casket down. We will continue. Okay, there's another clue scroll. Can we do this? I don't think I have that. I do. All right, let's do as much of this one as we can. Realized I was running low on uh, games necklaces, so I'm going to enchant some while I'm doing as much of this clue as I can. I figure while I'm here, I may as well um, do like the one, well, maybe not if it's going to be impossible, but I thought I might as well do the one uh, ticket thing for the Karamja Diary, just knock it out of the way since I had to come here for the 
clue anyway. There's the agility arena ticket. I had this weird bug where the, what's it called? The arrows like weren't flashing. I looked it up and apparently it's something like there's some plugin on RuneLight that interferes with it. But uh, anyway, let's continue on with this clue. All right, I got this step right here. I'm going to check if I have the requirements for this or if I can get everything and then we will potentially go make this stash unit. Okay, yeah, it appears that I can do everything I need for this clue. So we will go and buy the rune halberd and uh, make the amulet of strength. I'm gonna make two. So for when I start combat, I've got it. But uh, yeah, we'll be back with uh, the next step. Since I'm going by Catherby to uh, take the charter ships. This is a good opportunity to plant some more herbs and limports and show what I did. So I have 379, which is pretty good. I've been planting them a lot. And then I was doing a ton of irrits because you can just buy the um, secondary. And I've got something like 325, I think. And then I've got a bunch of spirit flakes, which I think I'll just keep for uh, anglers. I'm not going to turn them in for the spirit angler until I've got like a ton of them. There's another stash built. And there is the hard clue completed. So we will continue on with uh, the next opening. Sapphire rings, rune full helm. I'm hoping for a uh, rune plate body because I just had to give mine away to this stash unit. I think that was chaos runes. Ruby necklace, diamond necklace, rune medium helm, some money. There's a medium. All right, let's... Uh... Let's go do this. I came here to bank, and luckily the reward points is still hidden, so that'll be a surprise when we get there after all of this. But uh, having like the Temple of the Eye teleport necklace and the NPC contact spell to be able to repair my pouches whenever I needed was so nice on mobile. I was able to sit there and get so much done because all I needed to do was in between rounds, I could just NPC contact and have him fix my pouches. So... That was really, really nice. I didn't have to spend any pearls. I didn't have to run around. So I'm glad I knocked that out before I went AFK for a while. And it is also just so nice to be on a computer again. Mobile is great for, you know, certain things, but it's just so clunky sometimes. And so being on RuneLight with all the plugins and, you know, a, a mouse and keyboard, it's just, it, it is so nice. There is the medium casket completed. Now I have one easy, medium, and hard. So we open this casket. It's a loop half, and I don't know what that is. But, okay, I'm going to go dump all this in the bank, and then we will open the caskets. Okay, other than the chaos runes that I think I got in the loop half, this was everything I got. And we will start with the easy. A black dagger and trout, that is not really anything. Medium. Uh, I think it's the fire lighters, okay, and the green dehyde chaps. I think I used up my green dehyde chaps for a clue, so nice to get those back. And then the hard. Okay, it looks like we got a Sarah Quaff. Oh, and a rune plate body, awesome. And a black dehyde body, nice. Okay, excellent. And green fire lighters, which, you know, whatever. But uh, the Sarah Quaff is nice for if we need a Sarah item. The room plate body is nice because we got rid of ours, and the black dehyde is just, you know, easy uh, range training, whatever. So, uh, okay, I'll dump all this in, uh, and then it's time to go to Guardians of the Rift and check out those rewards. All right, back at one of our favorite places, the Guardians of the Rift, uh, and now I'm going to check the rewards guardian, and there it is, yeah, 290 elemental energy, 289 catalytic. I can search this 289 times. I've only ever searched at 282, uh, so this there, this is a ton of reward searches. What I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to run over to the bank, and this is the rune tab right now. I will you know take a screenshot, and then we can look at it afterwards as well, but uh, I just want to get a good idea for the number of runes and pearls and all of that. So if the searching amount of searches you know, adds up, we should be able to finish most of the outfit. So we'll see what we get. There's a couple cool rewards. Um, so without further ado, I will start searching and we will jump back in if I get something exciting. All right, well, that's the uh, that's the first inventory done. Uh, I got this elemental talisman. I guess I should check. Let me pull it up real quick. Okay, so for whatever reason, the uh, elemental talisman is not on this list. But yeah, I, I uh, the only thing that I really need from here, I, the needle would be cool, but I can't use it yet. I guess it's only the lantern. 
I don't know what the lost bag and the, you know, I think everything else is buyable. So lantern would be cool. I don't totally need it. I guess I'll just keep the runes in the inventory and dump the talismans in there and we'll open this pouch and we'll open this pouch right now and see what, uh, we'll scatter these and then law runes. Okay, cool. Does it say, no, it doesn't say how many. All right. Uh, we will be back, uh, with more exciting stuff possibly. All right. Um, that's a uh, hundred and 52 ish searches down um still you know not a ton of cool stuff got a hard clue i may stop right now and go do that um if this first is possible um yeah i guess i'll just stop do this and then we'll come back so one of the one of the things that i really enjoy about a regular iron as opposed to my uim is just like the ease that you can you know jump around and do different things and you can experience the entirety of the game you know like doing things like guardians of the rift and temporos and whatever on a uim you kind of have to like stop and that's all you can do and even to experience it there's a lot of like weird quirks and mechanics around it you know it was fun for the you know few years that i played it but now I'm like, I'm really just looking for the standard experience with, you know, a bank and being able to jump around and experience all the content like it was supposed to be uh, uh, experienced. Um, and like, for example, doing wilderness clues and, and just getting clue items in general. I mean, like, it's just so much nicer on a, on a regular iron. You don't have to deal with all the, you know, BS and, and everything. And, uh, you know, the, the UIM was fun for a while, but now that I don't really have as much time to play and I'm, it's more casual and I don't feel like, you know, the extra strain and, and brain power that's needed to play a UIM, uh, th this is a lot, a lot nicer. So um, while I've been talking this whole time, I just got this clue, uh, Mystic Hat, Bone Spear, and Rune Plate Body. I'm pretty sure I can do this. I'm just going to double check with my items. All right, I was able to get that clue done and I, I bought a Bone Dagger. Uh, cause I know I need it for another clue. So we will continue onwards. I guess going through that pipe was a, uh, Varrock hard diary task, but, uh, we'll keep plugging away at this, uh, at this clue. I think we're getting close to finishing it. Okay. We had to fight a Sarah Daman wizard. Uh, that was harder uh, than I thought I need to train some combat, but, uh, here's the, the uh, hard clue. Okay, red fire lighters and rune. Da it's probably I used about thirty blood runes anyway. Uh, rune axe is cool. I don't think I have one, and then another black dehyde body. So overall, not a terrible clue. I didn't realize I had this uh, beginner clue in the bank, so I'll go knock this out real quick. Beginner casket. Mm, no. Opening up the rest of the intricate pouches. There's another dragon spear. 220 nature runes and more nature runes. Excellent. Okay, so we are back. We have 138 searches left to go. Um, I can remove these intricate pouches. We have 634 abyssal pearls. Um, this is another screenshot of all of the runes that we have up to this point. And we will continue searching and, as always, come back if something interesting happens. All right, uh, only 37 pulls left. Uh, we got a bunch of, you know, another... Troll Needle Drop. Let's see what we get from this intricate pouch. Law Runes and Pure Essence. All right, I'm going to dump these in and keep going. Oh boy, there it is. Always right near the end. Uh, there is the Abyssal Needle. Uh, that'll be super nice uh, once I get 85 rune crafting. Um, I think that's everything. Yep, those are all of the rewards. All right, wow, excellent. So, uh... Let's open this intricate pouch. Blood runes, sweet. So the uh, abyssal needle allows you to combine all four of the pouches uh, into one, but it can't be used until 85 rune crafting. So I'm just going to stick it in the bank. I'm at 75 right now, so I got a while to go before I can use this thing. But uh, super nice to get. Now let's check out how many pearls we have and see how many pieces of the outfit we can buy. Okay, so I already have the hat. Let's make sure this is on value. Yeah. Uh, that's 350 and that's 250. So it looks like I can get both of them. And the robe top is 350. So I'm just short, which is fine because I like wearing the Varrock body anyway. So let's go ahead and put all of these on. Nice. All right. So I believe that's like 30% more runes now. Uh, and we're very close to the top. Um, so yeah, I, I'm sure I'll be back here in the future. Um, and we've got, you know, all four of the pouches too. So super sweet. Uh, that's all the rewards and stuff that got taken care of while I was gone. We're going to do a farm run 
and then uh, we'll up our herb lore level. Oh, and before we leave, here is a look at all of the runes. I'll put up on the screen like a comparison between like what we had and what we got, just so we have an idea. But yeah, now the only thing we need left from this mini game is the Abyssal Lantern. Uh, we got the needle. So uh, yeah, super, super dope. Just doing some farm runs and there's a, a genie. Um, I think I'm going to use this on, I guess, Slayer, because I don't want to do Slayer right now. Make sure it's still the lowest before I go to... Yeah, I did some... I was doing Tears of Gothics while I was gone, and I accidentally <laughs> used my Tears of Gothics in ranged instead of Slayer, so that was super annoying. So I'm making sure that I don't do that again. I, I know my, like, skilling has been the focus of this account other than combat. I did so much combat on my UIM recently that I just like really want to just focus on skilling and get my account in the best possible position going forward. So that's why it's all going to be skilling for a while. All right, we just finished up some uh, whirlwind farm runs, herb runs, tree runs, birdhouse runs, seaweed, all, all of that. I am just about to get to uh, the herb lore stuff that I'm going to be doing. I, I want to go and check out like all of what we have. So I'm not sure it's there's a point in using anything like Guam's and Marintel's. Maybe Terramins, I'll use some of my Limport roots. I don't know. But I feel like just sticking with Eerie's really uh, and Harrowlanders for the energy potions is probably my best bet for, you know, flying up in the XP department like pretty quickly. Uh, I'll check it out as I go along. I know I, I want to get super energy potions as quickly as I as I can, um, but that's going to require me to do agility, and I still don't have the graceful outfit, but I need the marks of grace for staminas and all that, but that's at 70 herb lore, so I don't know. We'll we'll figure all that out right now, but I'm going to go to buy like just a, a ton of Eyes of Newt, because I know I'm going to need them, and then I'll go to the Gnome Stronghold and purchase all of the chocolate dust and all that stuff that I need for the Harrowlanders. So, catch you back with herb lore levels. Uh, I figure since I, since I have the... Um, the supplies, I might as well make a bunch of amulets of chemistry so that when I'm making these potions, I can get, you know, some occasional four doses. Um, this is the kind of stuff I was talking about earlier, you know, like all the stuff you can do on an iron because you have all of the supplies in your bank. Uh, you could just play a lot more like chill and efficiently as opposed to, you know, on a UIM, everything is like, well, I can't use that because of an inventory and it's not feasible. Like you can, you can pretty much do anything you want. So it's really nice. I'm going to go buy some balls of wool and then finish up buying the eyes of newt. And then we'll be ready to get this herb lore experience. We're running low on bank space. So I'm going to real quick, quick, uh, open these supply crates and see if we get anything good. Oh, wow. There's another Tome of Fire. Uh, okay, interesting. Um, did not expect that. Uh, I will have to check how many openings that is. But uh, yeah, that's pretty sweet. Got some Renar seeds. That's nice. And Avento is also nice. Adamant, some sharks, uh, and a U seed. So pretty dope. I'm glad we're waiting to open a lot of these because this stuff has gotten exponentially more useful. All right. There are the amulets of chemistry. Um, what is this options thing? Check charges. Okay. Um, toggle action when amulet breaks. Stop making potions. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So I'm going to wear one of these, dump the rest in here. Um, and then it's time to make these potions. So I'm going to start with these Harrowlanders. I'm going to leave one or two maybe grimy herbs because you never know when you're going to need them for like quests and stuff. But uh, everything else uh, will get made. So yeah, we will check back with levels. 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. All right, well, there's the end of our Herbler grind and we are 3.4K off of 52, which is super energy potions. Uh, I kind of want to get to those. So what I think I'm going to do is we're just going to uh, first go do the Christmas event. Uh, then we'll do, you know, the same thing, birdhouse run, seaweed run, herb run, you know, allotments, limports, all that stuff. And then we'll see how close we are after that. And then if I can get the 52 herb lore, then maybe I'll do the Mauritania medium diaries and, you know, see if that gets us any close to, you know, the double bloom effect from the whatever it's called sickle and that'll make it you know more it'll make it easier for me to farm the mortmeyer fungus uh, so that you're not just like clicking one at a time 
Uh, I don't know if that's medium diary or if that's hard diary. Either way, that'd be, you know, either one's a good goal to go for. So we'll see uh, how this all plays out. But first, we're going to knock out this Christmas event. All right, there it is. The uh, Christmas event completed. I like doing these because you get some pretty cool outfits. So let's see. I think it's all this stuff, right? Oh, man. This is pretty sweet. Right on. All right, well, I'm going to go dump all this stuff in the POH, and then we will go do some farm runs. Okay, I just missed the clip, but there is 68 farming, which lets me uh, palm trees, which I think I have a few seeds of those as well. Uh, and I've got calquat seeds, which I should probably start planting too. So I'll, I'll go put both of those in plant pots when I get to the farming guild. Okay, uh, I haven't used my Herolanders yet, but I'm at 538, which means that I will be able to get to 52 Herblore, which allows me to make super energy potions, which will be nice for like questing and other stuff. I'm going to fill up all of my seed pots with like palm and calquat, and then I'll go buy some more chocolate. Okay, it's not really worth it. I'm just going to uh, make a bunch of strength potions and get the, yeah, there we go. I only needed two. So there's 52 herblore. We can now make super energy potions, which will be so nice for running around. Uh, I'm going to look up what diary you need for that, you know, Mauritania bloom thing and I will get back to you. Okay, turns out Calquat is 72 farming. I'm not sure why I thought it was less than that. I guess it's because I have a bunch of them. But uh, all right, I'll just fill up uh, some other trees and we'll get going. Okay, yeah, so that's the hard Mauritania diary that um, lets you, you know, collect double fungus. So I don't think I'm going to be doing that anytime soon. You need like crazy requirements like 71 agility and uh, 70 prayer and all this other stuff. So that's a long ways away. Uh, I'm not sure if then I'll, I'll do that or I'll just kind of leave Herblore right now. It's in like, you know, a decent spot, I guess. But uh, after this, uh, I'm not really sure, you know, what I, I want to do. So uh, I'll take a look at everything, and you will find out at the same time I do. All right, uh, I'm kind of at a loss, honestly, for, for things to do. Uh, so right now, I think I'm just going to go do the gout tuber grind while I think about, I don't know, what to do next, I guess. Okay, uh, this is pretty much it. I've read that this is the best way to do this. You just kind of sit here chopping dense jungle with a regular machete while this snake uh, attacks you. Uh, and then anything that spawns can't really attack you, so... I think I'm going to call it here. This seems like a pretty good place to uh, end the episode. So uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one, and I'll see you next time.